it looks like we're heading into the upside down. What's going on guys, I'm Chris, and welcome back to another Stranger Things 5 update video. That intro was no joke, we are heading into the upside down with some of these set picks I'm about to talk about, as well as some other updates from the Hawkins High School set. But before I get into this thing, be sure to hit that like button, it helps out more than you guys know. Subscribe and hit that notification bell to help me reach my goal of 100,000 subscribers here on the channel, it mean a lot. And go show some love to the unusual couple podcasts for weekly episodes with myself and my girlfriend Cam, we have tons of fun with it over there. And if you guys like these Stranger Things update videos and talking theories, you can do that live and in person with me on Sunday, February 4th at Megacon. I will be there all four days, but I'll be leading a Stranger Things Season 5 Theories panel on Sunday with myself, fellow movie YouTuber Sean Chandler, as well as Cam, my lovely girlfriend. I'll be on three panels throughout the week. I hope to see a lot of you guys there and meet you, talk Stranger Things, and more. It's going to be a blast, so hope to see you at Megacon down in Orlando in only a matter of days now. It's going down. All right, so last we talked, we had not had any visuals from the Upside Down. Well, today, that news has changed. We got multiple photos released of the set construction around Stone Mountain, Georgia. This is an area where they filmed scenes before, so this is not new territory for them. In fact, in the earlier seasons, there are scenes filmed on the railroad tracks near Stone Mountain. For a lot of you guys watching this video, you're like, what the heck is Stone Mountain? For me, it's pretty bizarre because I literally grew up 15 minutes from Stone Mountain, Georgia, and I still live in the state of Georgia. So I frequented this area. You can hike the mountain and go to a laser show. There's a lot of things to do there. So it's bizarre that they're filming my favorite show of all time at a location that I frequented growing up. Wild stuff. But as you can see in this photo right here, we have a shot of the woods and we see the tentacles from the upside down, the tendrils, whatever you want to call them. This is a signature of the upside down. Be careful not to step on them though because of the hive mind. But yeah, there are multiple different angles of this group of trees out in the woods wrapped up in tentacles or tendrils from the upside down. When you see these photos on the one hand, you could say, okay, they're setting up these tentacles and they're going to bring a bunch of green screens at night and film. But on the other hand, we have to remember the end of Stranger Things season four. The final shot of that season shows the upside down literally bleeding into Hawkins, Indiana as we know it with our main character staying on that hilltop looking out at what they have to take down in the final season. So in my mind, these tentacles from the upside down are here because it's representing no matter how much time has passed since the end of season four, the upside down has left its mark on Hawkins and it's becoming a part of Hawkins. However, I think that with these tentacles in broad daylight, a lot of the upside down might have gone dormant because as I've talked about in recent videos, there's likely going to be a time jump between seasons four and five. Every season of Stranger Things has had a time jump, but this season in particular, they're probably going to jump to 1987, maybe 1988, but regardless, the upside down permanently has left its mark on Hawkins, as we saw at the end of season four. And in this photo, I'm thinking, what if we just see like the upside down tendrils or tentacles all throughout Hawkins and like markers of the upside down, but they're just asleep, essentially. I think that would be really cool, but basically let us as the audience see the destruction and devastation of Hawkins, Indiana post the end of season four, but also it would be a lingering threat. The citizens of Hawkins might be like, yeah, any day now, this stuff could wake up and we could be going to war, which is likely going to happen. Either way, it's really cool to see the practical tentacles and the construction of this set out in the woods. I hope we revisit some season one locations out in the woods. I wouldn't mind seeing some sort of showdown on the railroad tracks even, but it's going to feel nostalgic. Like I've said a billion times now, the Duffer Brothers want to go back to the season one roots and going back to Stone Mountain is a great way to do that because they film a lot of the show, specifically the earlier seasons near this area. But on the topic of the upside down, these tentacles from Stone Mountain are not the only things we've seen indicating the presence of Vecna or creatures from the Upside Down. In fact, we got an actual video from the Hawkins Memorial Hospital set. It's a video shot from afar, but we see lights flickering. We don't know what's going on in the building, but in the exterior, lights are flickering, which is a clear indicator something or someone from the Upside Down is present. Now, who might this be? Of course, you could say Max Mayfield. She was in the hospital in a coma at the end of season four, but supposedly the days they were filming at this hospital set, Sadie Sink was spotted in New York and she's even been out to London so it might not be Max who's in the hospital it could be one of the wheelers and there's evidence of that because of Cara Barono's video where she says she's on set filming for episode 2 that same day that video dropped where Cara Barono said it was her first day on set filming we had paparazzi photos drop of the set where they were filming which is the Hawkins Memorial Hospital set we'll have to find out but like I said in a recent video update which you can check out up above it would be wild if they hospitalized Mike or Nancy in the second episode of the final season I honestly don't know who could be in the hospital 
hospital. Maybe they're just there because stuff's going down at the hospital, just like in season three when Miss Driscoll's in the hospital. It could be a showdown like that, or maybe one of our main characters has been hospitalized. But enough about the upside down. We actually have some updates from the normal world of Hawkins, Indiana, as we know it. In fact, we got some more photos from the Stranger Things Instagram broadcast channel, which I highly recommend following and turning notifications on if you guys haven't already. They're giving us little seeds for season five all along the way and almost at a weekly rate. But last week, they dropped some hints as to what we can expect to see in the school. Now, there's not a lot to latch onto here, but it's still worth talking about. So for starters, we got two pictures of bulletin boards in the hallway. One of those says sports are out, data is in, and it's a promotion for computer club. And if you look to the far right, there's a piece of paper that says knowledge is power. And then there's another one that I believe is about reading club. And I zoomed in and tried to see if there was like a date on it. It looks like it has the time and it looks like it has the actual day, but I don't think it reveals a year or even a month. But you can tell they're clearly in Hawkins High School based on the paint job on the wall. This next bulletin board just says Hawkins High Tigers, show your spirit. And we've got some Hawkins High spirit in the hallway. But we also got two photos of lockers. This first one is likely Dustin's locker. It says Hellfire lives and we get the full visual of his locker. A few weeks back, Ross Duffer posted on his Instagram a cut off visual of this and we could only see the bottom of that little object next to the Hellfire head. And I was like, is that a bleeding turtle? But once you zoom out, you can see it is the full on Hellfire logo. It was just really confusing for a second. In the locker, it looks like there's like a red gym bag or shirt and a backpack, but the Hellfire Lives has me thinking that is most likely Dustin Henderson, or it could be Eddie's locker that's just permanently vandalized, but them having like actual school stuff in it makes me think this is almost definitely Dustin's locker. And this next locker is almost definitely Lucas's locker. We see the basketball as well as a physical science book, and it just makes sense that they would tease us with Lucas and Dustin's lockers. We also got a poster of this class classroom door. There's a lot of stickers, but a lot of them saying, save sport fishing, break for whales, save the whales, green peace. We can assume this is likely science class, but I'm thinking, what if Mr. Clark makes his return this season and he's upgraded to high school teacher? I say bring it on, that would be awesome. And I think he's going to show up in some capacity anyway, but Mr. Clark has always been one of the more slept on side characters in Stranger Things. And one of the most intriguing shots we got from the Instagram on the broadcast channel is this photo right here showing the different Hawkins high school yearbooks over the years. We've got 19 66, 67, 68, 72, 73, 74, 78, 79, 80, and then 84 and 85. We don't have any yearbook for 1986, meaning this photo is not revealing if we're in the 1987 or 88 school year. And while at surface level, this could just be teasing the cool designs for the yearbooks over the years, there's a chance that our main characters might be using these at some point. I wouldn't be surprised if we're looking through the yearbook to try and find information on someone from years past in Hawkins, potentially someone related to the Linda Hamilton character, or maybe they go even further back than the yearbook dates here and they're trying to find info on Hopper, Joyce, or even Henry Creel. All I know is this, despite the fact that there's going to be chaos all around in Hawkins, I am fully on board with them having some moments in Hawkins High School because it feels nostalgic in a way. Scenes at Hawkins High School are like a staple of this show, so even if they're only there for a bit, it's nice to know they're going back because this is the last chance we'll get to see all of our main gang at Hawkins High School. But my biggest takeaway from all this is that we do in fact have photos of the upside down in the real world with the tentacles or tendrils, whatever you want to call them. We know destruction and devastation is coming to Hawkins. We saw it at the end of season four, but is that going to die down for a bit? Then we have a time jump and the upside down remnants are dormant until they're awoken by Vecna or something greater. We could be going that route. Either way, we are for sure going back to the upside down in this final season for one last ride, and I cannot wait. But that does it for this Stranger Things update video. Let me know your predictions down below regarding the upside down and how you think everything's going to play out in this final season. And if you guys like talking theory, and enjoy these update videos, you can actually come attend a live in-person panel with myself and fellow YouTubers at Megacon. I'll be there February 1st through 4th on various panels doing meet and greets, but on Sunday, February 4th at 10 a.m., I will be leading a Stranger Things 5 panel talking theories for season 5 with my girlfriend Cam and Sean Chandler from Sean Chandler Talks About. It's going to be a blast. It's free to attend the panels. So I hope to see you guys at Megacon in Orlando this week. It's going down. I cannot wait. But that's going to do it for this video. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to help reach my goal of 100,000 subscribers here on the channel would mean a lot. And of course, go show some love to the Unusual Couple podcast for weekly episodes over there. We have a ton of fun with it. But that's going to do it. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. And until next time, I'll see you guys on the other side of the Upside Down.